Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 10 o'clock in Honolulu, 4 o'clock in New York. It is Wednesday, first day of August 2018 and this is the daily report for gold and silver. Gold continues to drop and following statement released by uh, the Federal Reserve, we have seen gold now decline down about $8.60. This basis most active December contract at 12.2510. That is a decline of about seven tenths of a percent, but it is the least decline in the precious metals complex. Silver down approximately 15 cents today at 15.41. That is a decline of approximately 1%. Palladium declining about 2% at $912 and then lastly platinum declining well over 3% down $27 at $818. All of that in light with a marginally stronger dollar index up about 18 points at 94 45 and that is certainly telling us that the majority of today's declines are a direct result of selling pressure and not dollar strength as we look at the uh, dow jones industrial average that did close lower today off about 81 points at 25,333 the s p also down marginally at 28.15 but the nasdaq composite did exhibit gains today up 39 points at 77.12. Traders, gold does continue to trade under pressure, currently down $8.40 at 12.2520. That's just off of today's low at 12.2440. Traders, typically, I use what is called a continuous contract. That is this hashtag F, what it stands for. However, as they roll over into a new contract month, it will skew the most current data. And as you can see on this weekly chart, for example, it shows that this week has shown a modest advance in terms of pricing. However, when we convert this to a December chart, to accurately represent current price, you can see that that has now changed and we are actually showing a decline on the week. Traders, if you recall from yesterday's show, we had a slight uptick in gold, finishing up about $1.40. It was also the last trading day of the August contract, so we went ahead and pulled profits, small profits on the trade. My thinking was that we would reposition ourselves on the short side prior to the release of the statement today. However, in overseas trading last night going into the report, we had gold trading off by about $6. So my sentiment at that point was even if the Fed announces that they are going to remain steady and keep interest rates where they are. We wouldn't see that much of an incremental drop from current pricing to closing pricing. And that's precisely what happened. Currently, we have the market down about $8.80, so about a $2.80 differential between before the statement released and after. I did send out a special notification as the statement was released letting you know that it was my belief that we would see lower pricing due to the statement itself what i am looking for at this point is some sort of upside bounce to reposition ourselves on the short side in terms of levels of support and resistance i still believe that 12 12 is a number that we have to take out you can see it's a little bit different when we look at the December contract in terms of the lows because our lows are coming in at around 1220 now rather than 1210, which is the current month pricing. And traders, you can obviously see that when we go up and now pull up our most active continuous contract that these lows came in at 1211. We're currently trading at 1224, and that's still the price we need to take out. I believe that after that we have the psychological level that comes in at around 1200 so i think we have some real potential support at approximately 1200 and major support at 1172 that is the 61 percent retracement and this is a retracement from the end of 2015 when gold hit the lowest trading point since the correction at 1040 and began to move into rally mode 
Therefore, traders, my recommendation is although we are flat, we are looking for the proper opportunity to reposition ourselves on the short side. My target remains firm at $1,200 per ounce. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.